In this lecture, we will see how to export an audio file from Audacity. After you record your audio, or once you complete processing, you will need an audio file. Please note that the Audacity project file and an audio file are different. To get an audio file, you have to use export. When you have only one track in Audacity, the process is fairly simple. Go to File, then Export Audio. You can do all the necessary configurations from this window. I want to emphasize one thing about this window, if you are a beginner, the export option will look like a very simple process to you. However, when you need to get an audio file with certain requirements, you have to understand a bit about these configurations. For example, if you export an audio file for an audiobook, you must meet certain standards. You do not need to understand all of that now, but remember, the export window has the necessary options to choose from. You can set the name of the audio file. For example, I will set test export. You can choose a location to export the file. You will find the file in this location after export. I will choose a convenient place to export the audio file. You can set the format of the audio file from the dropdown. Please notice that when you change the format, this area will have different options. Some of these options make sense only for MP3 files. When you have to format an MP3 file to meet certain requirements, you will get the necessary options here. I normally prefer to export in WAV format. Because WAV is a lossless format, and all the audio data will be as it is. If I am sending a file to someone for feedback or taking the audio file in a different software, I choose WAV. I choose a format like MP3 only after all the processing is done, and the platform requires an MP3 formatted file. If you want to add some metadata to the audio file, there is an Edit Metadata button. Audacity changed its export interface from version 3.4. Metadata edit options were a separate step in the older Audacity. It is completely optional to set metadata. So if you do not want to set metadata, it is completely okay. There are some radio buttons on the export range. I have a single track, so the other radio buttons are inactive. If you want to export a selection of audio, you can do that from here. I will talk about it later when such a situation arrives. After all the options are set, click on the export. If I check the folder now, I will see the exported audio file. You can see the test export WAV file here. It is an audio file, and I can play it from here if I want. I can also use it in other projects or submit it on any platform. Please practice exporting audio files in different formats to get a clear idea. You are watching a preview video of my Audacity for Beginners course. It is a step-by-step -step guide for those who want to learn Audacity very well. You will learn all the necessary audio basics and Audacity as well. After completing this course, you will be able to produce crystal clear audio. You will be confident enough to make professional voiceover work or audiobook narration. If you want to produce better audio for content creation or personal projects, this course will set your path in the right direction. I suggest you should at least check the curriculum of this course. You can purchase this course separately or as part of the Audacity course bundle. You can buy this course from the Buy Me A Coffee page. I will give the bundle purchase link in the description. You will get both the Beginner's Audacity and Advanced Audacity course. If you already know some Audacity, Advanced Audacity can do wonders for you. If you want to know more, please click the link in the description or in the pinned comment.